What's going on guys, it's Alex and we're back with another YouTube video today. We're gonna to be talking about the CES 2022 unveiling of their new uh, tech products and innovations. If you don't know what CES is, it's the Consumer Electronics Show. Basically, they're um, unveiling the new technology and innovations from different brands and various uh, manufacturers, things like that, from uh, wearables like watches, smartwatches, phones, um, cars, anything like that, laptops, machines, different things like that. So um, we've seen a lot in the past and this year is looking pretty, pretty cool in terms of the automobile um, industry and also uh, laptops, gaming platforms, things like that with VR and augmented, augmented reality um, and things like that. So today we're gonna be discussing uh, three things um, that I took away that were intriguing from uh, CES. It's the uh, CyberPower PC, uh, where the Kinetic Gaming PC, where it's actually like breathable. Um, and then we're gonna be talking about the wearables from 2022 that are supposed to keep up and compete with the Apple Watch, you know, how that goes. And then uh, and then the new car, the BMW car, that's actually supposed to be able to change colors. Uh, I know that's been a huge topic, the, probably the biggest topic of CES this year. So um, definitely gonna be jumping into that, showing you some things like that and kind of discussing that um, in general. So let's just hop right into it. Uh, first up, we got the CyberPower PC, the Kinetic Gaming PC. It's a product that is uh, really interesting and, and never seen before. So, I mean, it's a, uh, it's a PC case that's basically going to breathe, literally move. Um, and it's, I don't know, I never seen anything like this. Didn't think this would ever be a thing in the PC industry. Um, so they've got, uh, potentially they've got 18 vents kind of on the forefront of this PC uh, build. And basically they're just all going to be able to move in a way um, to be able to make the PC breathable. So this solution is to take away like fans or um, any kind of other cooling uh, systems like liquid, things like that, to uh, to keep the processors and the graphic card, graphics card and different components that need to be cooled in the PC to keep it running efficiently and smoothly. Um, and it's able to do that without using the, the noisy fans or anything like that. And to keep them, keep PCs stronger and, and continuing to be stronger, um, you have to have that cooling method that's gonna be next level with the processors and graphics cards that are here today. I mean, this PC case is apparently going to be um, revolutionary in terms of how it's going to cool the actual system and the processor or the components inside. Pretty excited for that. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be, I mean, CyberPower PC makes some terrific PCs for gaming, things like that, and, and for, uh, you know, a lot of desk workstation type deals, but I don't know what the specs are going to be of this kind of PC to where if it's gonna be mainly a workstation PC or is it gonna be mainly a gaming type PC um, build? So, or are they gonna do both? Uh, you know, a lot of PCs can do, can handle both. So, uh, depending on the components put in it. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's it's gonna be cool. There's only a couple negatives, like, are those moving parts like what are they made out of is it going to be able to detect like a finger or like anything going inside it um is it does it need to be cleaned inside like where the the parts are like opening up basically um you know obviously dust and things can settle in there and get inside um i don't i don't know so it's gonna be interesting. I think it's one of the cooler things, but we'll just have to wait and see. I mean, it, it, it could, I don't know if those parts are gonna be breakable or they're gonna be, you know, I don't know. So um, a, lot to, a lot to look forward to in terms of the CyberPower PC, the Kinetic series is what they're calling it. It sounds cool. <laughs> I'm excited for it. Um, I don't know if I'll be getting my hands on one or anything, but uh, I'll definitely be interested in finding out some more information and seeing uh, more about that. Next up, we have the smartwatches. Uh, they had a few announced at CES this year um, in terms of Garmin. Fossil actually announced a partnership with Razer, and then Movano is actually a new kind, new, newer kind of company, I think, uh, just two, three, four years old. But they released a smart ring, which I think is actually really, really cool. Um, probably won't be getting one, but um, they they released that. It's supposed to basically track your, your blood oxygen levels, your glucose levels, things like that. It's supposed to uh, track sleep. Smart watches are doing right now, the Apple Watch and your Samsung watches, things like that. So um, definitely excited for that. Look a little bit like real modern style. They don't have like a screen, um, but it's kind of like almost just like regular jewelry, uh, like a bracelet almost that you'll be wearing on the wrist. So kind of cool design um, might be, might spark some interest in a lot of people. Um, but uh, the price point right now, I mean, it's rumored to be right under 300 bucks. 
uh, which is right in line with a lot of other smartwatch companies. So I think that'll be a really, really cool thing. The Fossil Watch actually collabed with Razer. Razer is a gaming uh, centered company. Um, so I think this is a cool collab. They brought on like a green strap man here and a black strap man as well. Um, and kept that in the fossil the sleek design of the uh, OS and the uh, UI. Um, and then made a more kind of gaming centric style to it with the band and the colors, things like that. So I think it's gonna be really, really cool. Fossils always has some great watches. Um, they've been innovating their OS over the past couple of years. Um, they're bringing in OS 3, which is their new OS this year. So once that releases on the new watches, I think that'll make them a lot more um, interesting for a lot more people. Uh, right now it's not as interesting because they're still in the old OS if you were to get one. We've got the new Snapdragon processor in that watch. It's definitely gonna be a powerful watch. Um, I don't know, other than like the usual health and fitness stuff, I don't know what else they're gonna add to it with Razer being involved now. I know they'll have some RGB chroma stuff like that. I'm definitely excited about that. They, uh, other watches came out, the Garmin Venue 2 Plus. Um, Garmin did a little, couple watches, things like that. Um, that'll be coming out this year as well. So definitely check that out guys. And don't forget to leave a like on the video. And if you haven't subscribed, definitely hit that subscribe button before heading out. Otherwise we'll see you in the next one. Peace.